Okay, welcome back. We are working our way through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. We are currently working on Lab 4, and we are up to 4.3, which is configuring Internet Explorer. Now, according to the lab manual, it wants us to, to have stayed logged in from the previous lab as a datum administrator. Now, where I see the hiccup, if you right click your start button, and if I'm following the instructions, it wants us to do a search and type in IE doesn't bring up what it wants us to bring up. So if we t actually type in IN, we can do Internet Options. And it pulls it up. And it wants us to use recommended security and compatibility settings. So I've not made any changes to this. And then OK. Right click, search. Let's go back into Internet Options. And it wants us to use this site. And I've already typed this in and click on apply. Delete the browsing history, so we're going to click on delete. <clears throat> this is going to help you answer question number 11, which default options will be deleted. And we're going to go ahead and click on delete. And now click on security. We're already on internet. And we want to do custom level. And this is going to help you answer questions 12 and 13. So we're going to go ahead and click on close. Now I want to click on trusted sites. And then the sites button. You see I've already added this, kind of remove it. So we're going to add HTTP colon www.adatum.com. And if this is checked, you want to deselect it and then go ahead and click on add. And then we're going to close. and then go ahead and apply it. So I'm back on my Windows 10 machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do privacy and sites. And we're gonna add www. Microsoft.com, and we want to go ahead and click on Allow. And if you're required to do so, this would be where you take your next screenshot. Now, to close the pop-up blocker settings dialog box, we're going to go ahead and click on Close or OK. And 
And now I want to click on the Connections tab. In the Local Area Network box, we're going to click on the LAN setting, which is down here. And we currently have this selected. So we want to go ahead and deselect and use proxy server for LAN. So we're going to click on here. And in the address box, we're going to type 172.24.255.20. In the port box, we're going to type in 8080. In the select bypass proxy server for local addresses option, we want to go ahead and select that. Now, if you're required to do so, go ahead and take your next screenshot at this location. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And then click on OK again. Now, we want to open our Internet options up again. And this time we're going to go back into our local area network settings. And deselect. That. And select automatically detect setting options. So we're going to go ahead and do OK. Click on the Programs tab. Manage add-ons. And then we're going to go ahead and just close out of this. And then click on OK. I do want to show is that if I pull up the E, you'd think there was Internet Explorer. This is actually the um, Microsoft Edge, which is looks a lot different than Internet Explorer. So to access Internet Explorer, what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and do search and just type in Internet and Explorer. Internet Explorer comes up and we'll select it. And it's fine if you don't have a connection. So now if I click on the little bolt thing over here. We want to go down to compatibility view settings. And if we don't have anything on here, we're just going to go ahead and use the Microsoft.com and then click on add. And if you're required to do so, you would take a screenshot from this location. And we're going to go ahead and click on close. And we're going to click on the little gear button again. And this time go into Internet Options. Now we want to click on the Advanced tab. And then under the Browsing section, we want to deselect show friendly HTTP error message. I'm going to deselect that and then browse through the other options under advanced. If you or an application make changes to Internet Explorer and you discover the Internet Explorer becomes unstable, you should click Restore Advanced Settings and hit the reset button. When your project is ready, you want to reset all Internet Explorer settings, you want to click the reset button. Let's go ahead and click on reset, and then reset. And you're going to take a screenshot from this location if you're required to do so. So go ahead and do close. 
and then we'll go ahead and close this. And that is the end of this exercise and the end of the video. Next video, we will go over exercise 4.4, which is installing Hyper-V.